Hello friends, welcome, welcome to our channel. This is Chemistry Crafters with Bono and I am Arun Kumar. Today we are going to discuss what is the best formula for preparing phenyl compound. For phenyl compound, many formulas are available. Which formula will give phenyl solution without any layer separation? That is what today we are going to discuss. The answer is very simple. With only formula alone, any formula, only formula alone, you cannot prepare good phenyl compound or good phenyl solution without layer separation. That formula should match with your raw materials, quantity and quality. That is what we are going to discuss. Let us consider this formula, Pinyl 700 ml, Alphox 200 150 ml, SLES 150 ml. Collectively, this will give 1 liter of phenyl compound. But only with this ratio, we cannot say whether it is good formula or bad formula. First of all, let us try to understand the concept behind the development of this formula. Pinyl is a very good disinfectant, very good bathroom disinfectant. Pinyl is natural material and it is having some aroma but the problem is it is not necessary to use concentrated pinyl for our bathroom disinfection purpose so diluted solution is sufficient i mean 30 to 35 ml of 32 percent pinyl in one liter water will give the required concentration of disinfectant but pinyl is immiscible with water so we are mixing some amount of emulsifiers so that is called SLES and Alphox 200. Apart from pinyl, we are adding some amount of perfumes. So we need to consider excess amount of emulsifiers. If the emulsifier is preferably a surfactant, it is added advantage. Cleaning purpose also will solve. So this is how formula has been developed. Now we will come to our main topic. The important thing is, what is the concentration of pinyl we are using? How much pinyl we are going to use in 1 liter of phenyl compound? Is there any perfumes we are going to include? What perfume? How much quantity? So based on these factors, we have to consider the amount of emulsifiers. If emulsifiers are little excess, then it will separate as paste, paste separation or layer separation. If emulsifiers are little less, then Pinyl will tend to tend to accumulate over the surface of the water. And another important thing what we need to consider is our dilution factor, phenyl compound versus water. If it is 1 is 20 or more than that. Because depends upon this dilution factor, the stability of the emulsion will be there. So to prepare good phenyl solution, don't depend only with formula. Try to develop a system and depend on system. It will give good quality of phenyl compound and a phenyl solution. Choose any one reliable formula. Decide what is the concentration of pinyl you are going to use, how much pinyl you are going to use. Decide what is the perfume you are going to use, how much quantity you are going to use. Decide what is your dilution factor, I mean phenyl compound to water. Fix these 5 things first. Then do a trial batch with your materials. Check its all quality parameters. Ensure that there is no layer separation for at least one week. If any problem means alter the quantity and quality of surfactants, either increase or decrease. Don't alter the first 5 things what we have fixed. Alter only in surfactants or emulsifiers. Do the trial batch till you are getting the quality product. Collectively, the formula, the materials what you are using, the quality, quantity, its grade, everything is called as a system. Developing system is time taking process. But once we have developed the system, then you will use it forever. 
but one important thing after developing the system we should never make any little changes in the system